Hey guys, welcome to How to Tips and Tricks. This is Virain here. In this video, we will see how to uh, screen or mirror your laptop onto your Sony Bravia Smart TV. Now, uh, this can be done using a, a HDMI cable, uh, but you know, I was thinking, you know, if we could do it over Wi-Fi, you know, that that gives us more flexibility to move around um, on your laptop. And uh, and the best part is, you know, that's what I've seen. You can also extend your screen. Uh, from your laptop so basically you will have two screens one uh, you know your laptop screen and then the Sony Bravia TV will start acting as a second screen so you can you know watch movies um, on your on your one screen that is your Sony Bravia TV and you can still keep working on your laptop so this is really cool something cool about it so I'm gonna quickly first we need to check if your laptop supports uh, those drivers which are needed for mirroring onto your Sony Bravia TV because Sony supports something called as Miracast and uh, we need to check if your laptop has those drivers so what you need to do is you need to go to run now I'm on Windows 10 there are different ways of doing it uh, I'm going to you can do a Windows R key and you will get this run box and then in this run box you need to type in dxdag once you run this command dxdag you will get a screen something like this and you should go to, the, go to the option which says save all information and you will have a notepad saved on your desktop now I already have it up I will just open it up for you now on this notepad if you see uh, let me zoom in a little bit if you see here it says miracast available now let me just highlight that it says Miracast available, so this shows that my laptop supports those same drivers which you know Sony supports. All right, we first need to make sure that uh, we scroll to the settings and make sure that the uh, Wi-Fi is turned on in the TV. So we need the Wi-Fi Direct, but if you see, I cannot turn it on. So we have to turn this built-in Wi-Fi on which is basically for internet but it's only after that it's giving me an option to turn on Wi-Fi direct okay uh, I'll hit the return key here now the other thing is uh, oh why it's turned off all right all right now if you see here the device name basically device name is your TV name you can check it out here and if you want to change it, you just have to hit enter and you can change your TV name uh, to whatever name you want. I will hit the return key and we'll go to Wi-Fi direct settings. Now, uh, normally, you know, it should recognize uh, the other devices on its own. But if you see here, they have given a line. If you cannot successfully connect, press the options button and select manual. So I will hit the options button on the remote. First of all, I will show you the device list. There's nothing here. I'll hit return. Uh, all right, so Wi-Fi is turned on here. Let me do something quickly. Pan over to my laptop. And I will add this TV. I will hit add device. Okay, but before that, uh, just wanted to show you you need to check the password here so you need to go to wi-fi direct settings Oops. Uh, yeah and then hit the options button and select the first option which says manual and hit enter scroll down to the option it says other methods now other methods just take a note of this password okay wydz5388 and we will go back to the laptop i will add my tv there okay it's already recognized my tv here since uh, the wi-fi is turned on i will hit this okay try again and make sure television is still discoverable okay okay maybe because I just turned on the 
Wi-Fi is taking some time. Okay, now it's doing something here, if you see. It's trying to talk to the smart TV. And just to show you the networks here, I'm connected to the internet here. This is my internet Wi-Fi. This is my TV. Actually, it should be coming up with my smart TV name. I'm not sure. All right, so looks like it is connected. I've manually connected my TV. Now I will hit the Windows and the P key. And on the right side, I get these options. And I will hit the extend. I want to extend the screen. I will select the extend screen and below there's an option which says connect to a wireless display. I will connect on that. And then I get this option of my TV. It says my smart TV display. I will select that one. And quickly you will see on my TV I get this option which says are you sure you want to register the following device and the options are decline and accept. I will accept. Now I accepted and it says one device was connected and now it's starting to prepare for the mirroring. Okay. If you see here, this is my screen and this is also my desktop. As you can see here, I will move the mouse over to the TV. There you go. This is my extended screen. So now if you see on my Sony TV screen, I'm connected to the internet and I have this window. I'm using a wireless mouse, uh, it's a little slow. Okay, so now I'm in the first screen uh, that is in the laptop. And if you see here in, in my laptop, if I open Yahoo email, there you go. So I have uh, two screens now. I have an extended screen. If you see here, I have my Yahoo email on my laptop. And if I go to the TV screen, that is my Sony Bravia, I will quickly open LinkedIn or I'll go to another window and open Facebook as well. There you go. So this is really something cool. You can have two screens. You can watch movie on one, on you know, one screen and keep doing your work on the other one that is on your laptop all right thank you guys stay tuned for more videos uh, if you like this video hit a like and don't forget to subscribe and once again thank you for watching